Positive vibrations. Positive vibrations. Positive vibrations. Positive vibrations. Positive vibrations. Positive vibrations. With God in the midst, you can stand up. Hear me now, we can't give up. Positive vibrations. Positive vibrations. Positive vibrations. Hi, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, and you know, just staying tuned to this positive vibration channel. So, friends, the last video we spoke about my growing up experiences, some of my growing up experiences, um, and you know, talking about going to all eight school going to what we call all eight school or primary school friends and you know doing the common entrance so so let's backtrack on the common entrance so i remember now when it was time for me to do my common entrance and where i was it was so rural so we couldn't sit the test at that school we had to go to another school where we had to take the bus to get to that school right so i remember now my big brother brother g big up herself i have great siblings friends great great siblings loving loving siblings big brother brother g took me to where i should do the common entrance because i couldn't go on my own and you know i had to stay there all day because i had to do the mental ability the math the um the language for me you know to finish doing my common entrance right and then on the next day he took me to where i, I did the the test for the other high, high school because as i said before in my time we could do the common entrance or we could do an, another test for another high school so in the event you don't pass the common entrance you may have a chance at the other high school and in my time too um students were um allowed to do the grade nine achievement test that would take them to high school so there were different avenues to take them to high school so fast forward now so common entrance results are out friends common entrance results are out and guess what diane passed for the best school in my in my parish top of top 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 school great great so you see all those talks that were over my life that i won't pass anything but worm no i passed more than worm i passed my common entrance in style to the top school excellent grades yes and excited now that I was so excited going to high school so dropping high school now friends I met other great teachers as I said before I'm so blessed I have had the opportunity to meet and come in contact with exceptional teachers in my life maybe that's why I'm a teacher right now great teachers teachers who cared for my whole being teachers who were so kind and teachers who were so loving yes those are the type of teachers that i encounter in my lifetime dropping high school this it continued my first grade teachers my spanish teachers my home economics teacher miss s big up yourself you know you know all the teachers that i came across they were really really nice teachers teachers who wanted to you know see me grow and, and, and academically physically and emotionally to reach my full potential you know, with my parents and going through teenage years my parents were not they were you know old school parents and um they didn't like me down and talk to me about you know changes that would happen in my body and the reproductive system and you know the different changes and all of that they did not do that and I don't think it's any fault of their own it's just maybe they didn't know how to right so my parents great parents but that part of it I did not get so learning about my body I had to learn on my own or yes because I remember when I was having my menstruation I was lost I I was confused I was shocked I didn't know what it was because I was I was lost right because I didn't 
I just did not know. Right? I said it wasn't any fault of their own, it's just that they didn't know how to, to, to inform me about all of that stuff. And, um, yes, so they didn't know and I, I, I wasn't aware, but in, um, in high school, I did a lot, a little bit of, um, what they call it, I think it's sex education class, but it wasn't in depth. I think that's, that's what it was called at the time. I started learning a little more about my body and the changes, you know, growing up as a teenager, right? So, you know, all the things that you, sh you if you do this, you can get pregnant and I was not aware of all those stuff. So if, I don't know if anybody else out there had the same experience that I had, put it in the comment section because I'm telling you, that's my experience. I was not aware of my body of the changes of what can happen if you get involved you know in um in the mating thing all right so you know going to high school first form you know great a student second form great a student third form going good i had some friends and you know they were talking about involving mating and stuff like that so i you know curious curious me curious diane got you know involved too and guess what guess what guess what i became pregnant at 16 years old in third form pregnant guys pregnant yes teenage pregnancy getting pregnant at 16 in high school it's like i felt like my my world ended because as i said before i love school i love school friends from an early age from i remember from basic school days i remember just loving school i i love to learn so I saw this as, as, as a big problem. I saw this as my world ending or my world closing because I'm pregnant. I can't stay in school. I'm go, I'm I, I'm, a, I'm a dropout. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be dropped out of school right now. It was a difficult. That's that's my first major big life challenge that I had to that I went through. Teenage pregnancy. I was like, oh my goodness, dropping out of school. I'm not going to be able to see my friends. I'm not going to be able to continue with my schoolwork. And I love school so much. What am I going to do? It was a lot. So school, 16 years old, family don't have much. And you know, they invest in you. And you know, family, your family is disappointed. My disappointed in myself too because um, all I wanted to do was to go to school, get um, to the stage where I could do my CXCs and see this major challenge came up. Got involved, got pregnant at age 16. Now, drop out of, drop out of school. See you in other videos coming up, all of what happened, you know, from pregnancy to baby being born, all this other stuff that happened after dropping out of school at age 16, I'm gonna tell you about that. But before I go, I just want to say that, um, teenagers, Stay in school. In my time, we weren't privy to certain um, information, as I said before. No, the information are at your fingertip. So even if you don't have anybody to tell you that this is what it will happen if you do this, or this will happen, will happen if you do that. If you get involved in this, this um, if you get involved in sex without protection and all that stuff, you can get pregnant. Those things are at your fingertip right now, right? By it just swiping and you get all that information young people stay in the know and do all that you can to stay in school right in our system in jamaica if you get pregnant say and you almost finish your schooling they don't allow you to stay in school 
you have to exit school and you won't be able to do your CXC and stuff. I'm, I'm not sure if that has changed, but in my time, once you got pregnant in school, you have to leave. You are now a dropout. Right? Some countries, in other countries, you get to stay in school. If you are, say, you are at almost finishing to get your diploma, you, you could still go to school, being pregnant, and finish up your studies. Right? My young people, I love you. I love you. I love young people. Stay in school. Education is the only way out. Get your education. Stay, get as much as, as you can, right? Some of these challenges, we can avoid them, but some of them, they're just gonna come. When they come, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna just stay right there, all right? So, new videos coming up on the challenges and, you know, the way forward, all right? Positive vibrations, positive vibrations, positive vibrations. Positive vibrations, positive vibrations, positive vibrations. So you creep, then you crawl, then you run about. When you fall, is how you get out. Positive vibrations, positive vibrations, positive vibrations, positive vibrations. One love.